channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you from start to finish how I customized and installed this first ever closure that I've ever worn. I like it so far, I think you can't go wrong with just like a straight 1B unit. So if you guys wanna see how I install this wig, then make sure that you carry on watching. Before we get into it, let's make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and part of the family. Just by hitting that subscribe button, it can do so much. So please, please, please don't forget to do that. And let's just get into it. So you guys, firstly, let's just get into this hair. So it is from Ali Pearl Hair through AliExpress. So I will be leaving the link down below so that you can find it really easily and buy it yourself if you like it. It's a five by five closure unit. It's 24 inches in length and 180 density. Price-wise, you can get it for £192.60, but obviously it depends where you're based and what your currency is. First impressions when I took this out of the box is I really am impressed with the quality of this hair. Like, it's really silky. It just moves like natural hair, which is obviously what we're going for. So I'm grabbing my Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray, which I'm just gonna use to prep the lace. So I'm spraying this over the lace just to protect it for when I start bleaching the knots and just in case the bleach was gonna start like trying to bleach Bleed through the lace it just helps to protect the hair from the bleach and then I'm taking my Schwarzkopf Igora Vario Blonde bleach powder I wasn't really sure how much to do this time around because it's a closure and I'm used to bleaching frontal so I did a bit less but I did about two scoops and then I'm taking my developer in I think it's 40% and mixing that all together so I by no means am a professional when it comes to this. I am completely just guessing. If you guys watched my full fringe hair tutorial when I got my full fringe unit, then you will recognize the products that I'm using today because they're the ones that I always use. So if you haven't seen that, then make sure that you're checking that out after this one if you like hair videos. But after mixing this up, I wasn't really happy with the consistency of it. I needed it to be a little bit thicker because basically the thinner it is, the more likely it is to start like oozing through the lace and going onto the hair. So depending on how the consistency turns out, you might wanna add some powder, you might wanna add some liquid, but basically you want it to be kind of like a thick consistency to the point where it's not gonna drip when you hold it up in the air, like this. So I'm just gonna get straight into it, I'm just applying it onto the lace just spreading that shit like butter trying not to apply too much pressure though because you don't want to be pushing it through the lace so that it starts going into the hair i'm being quite generous with it and i'm literally just making sure that it's covering all of the lace even the bits that i'm going to be cutting off because i just want to make sure that it's all bleached Girls and boys, I definitely should be wearing gloves for this, but let's ignore that. You know, let's not take me as an example. I'm just a girl out here winging it, trying to live her best wig life. So that's me finished. Um, I'm happy with it. I usually leave it to sit for as long as it takes, really. I just keep on checking it every five minutes to see how it's developing because I find that, you know, different units and different hair is going to react differently. So, but I'd say never really leave it any longer than 20 minutes. But yeah, I'm taking it into the bathroom to let it process in there a little bit. And then I'm gonna rinse it off, wash the hair, kind of dry it off and then bring it back into my bedroom, which is where we are now. So as you guys can see, the next step for me is to pluck the lace. Now, I was not happy with how this bleached at all. Like these knots were not disappearing. So I left it on for about 20 minutes took it off it hadn't done anything to the knots it had not improved them whatsoever so I went again for another 10 minutes it still didn't come out how I wanted it to but I'm working with it so you can still see there's still a lot of black knots showing they're obviously getting less as I'm plucking the lace but even so I'm still not very happy with that because I just don't really know what I did wrong but I'm plucking it regardless all the way along the closure hairline just trying to get a natural pluck and just make it less blocky so I'm putting the lace up against my hand now just so that you can kind of see the results a bit better and you guys see what I'm saying like the black knots are not it like I literally don't know what's going on but I decided to carry on plucking and just kind of trust the process and just install it anyway see what happened so here I am with my wig cap just putting this wig on I'm gonna tie it back out of the way so that none of the wet hair gets on my skin or anything and then I'm gonna blow dry it as soon as I can anyway so that it's not irritating me at all but first things first is just getting that shit glued down so I'm just working out where it's gonna be placed where it's gonna sit on my head
and then I'm folding back the lace. I'm taking my favorite glue, which is Ghost Bond. I got this in the big size because I just get through so much of it because I'm always changing my damn wigs. But I'm just gluing along the hairline. I almost got a bit carried away and went ear to ear because I'm so used to wearing frontals. I'm just laying that first layer of glue. Then we're going for a second layer just to make sure that it's nice and secure, which I'm going to do the exact same thing with. I'm going to smooth it out until it's nice and thin and then I'm going to wait for that all to dry down clear when it's going to be in its stickiest state. So yeah, once it's clear, you're good to stick it down. Any time before that, don't even bother. If you can't be bothered to wait for it to air dry, you can always just blast it with the hair dryer on the cold setting though, put it on cold, which is what I'm doing here, just making sure that it's pretty much clear before I start sticking that lace. And then I'm just being sure of the placement of the hairline and I'm just gonna firmly press that down. The glue at this point is really sticky anyway, so you really don't even need that much pressure for it to take. You just need the pressure to get that really like realistic skin melt. So as you can see I'm using my comb to brush the hairs backwards so that we're not getting loads of hairs caught forward in the lace or stuck down in the glue and then I'm taking this satin hair tie just tie that nice and tight like as tight as you can possibly get away with without giving yourself a headache just to secure that in and really melt that lace down into your skin and now I'm going to dry the hair so I'm spraying it through with some heat protectant spray I'm using the Shy Iron Guard 44 which will be linked down below as well I'm also just using a wall is that how you say it wall hair dryer i'm just trying to get it to the point where it's dry because i didn't really want to wash it before this video but i had to because of the bleaching knots so yeah i'm just trying to get that as dry as possible so that i can style it while i do that can we just get into these lashes they're by Lena Lashes and they are my new obsession. Like, I didn't even know Lena Lashes existed as a brand, but I'm gonna put their socials on the screen for you so that you can follow them. Basically, they do the bougiest, most extra bad bitch lashes that I feel like I'm never gonna be able to wear a small lash ever again because they've just set the bar so high. I love these lashes and everyone else seems to as well. I get so many compliments on these lashes, so I just thought I'd plug you and let you know where they're from. Next, I'm grabbing this Silk Infusion Serum, which is my ride or die. This is a brand new bottle, which is why I'm struggling to get it out. I just finished my other one, but this is a serum by the same brand, Shy, as the hair protector that I used. And it's basically just a serum that you put in your hair and it helps to add silkiness and that smooth look to it. And then I'm just gonna go over it with my GHDs. These are the MAC Styler. I'm pretty sure they're the wide plate ones, but they will also be linked down below. I'm just straightening my hair until it's done all over. I just thought we'd go for a straight haired look and then I could show you another time how I curl this unit, if that's what you wanna see. But yeah, I'm just gonna work my way across my entire head. Then I'm grabbing my hot comb. I usually leave this on for a little while before it comes to using it just to make sure that it's really nice and hot. You know, just give it that chance to warm up. And I'm just gonna flatten some of the areas that look a bit bulky um, and also just use it to style this front section of my hair as well so that it's all kind of falling away from my face. But I really like the hot comb. Like I find it to be a really useful tool, especially when you're a wig wearer because you just know you have those days where your wig just is not doing what you want it to do. Like there's always going to be that odd bulge. It really helps to get rid of those annoying bits. Okay, now I'm done styling. I'm taking off the headscarf and look at that melt. Oh my God, I'm so happy with that. I'm now cutting the lace. I'm using these little Morphe brow scissors because I find that they're really precise and you can really get in there. And I always do like jagged edges on my lace just because I learned somewhere that it makes it look more natural helps it blend into the skin that bit more. So I'm just cutting it all the way around and just making sure there's no funny little leftover bits hanging. And then I'm just gonna finish styling the hair until I'm happy with it.
so this is the final hair i really really hope that you guys love this unit as much as i do it's the wrong tree i got the strings yeah i'm charging up they can't keep up got them looking drained now they walking up trying to put the face to the name pull up and i scrap and i'm swerving if a nigga try to holler she gonna curve him we came from under buzz like a bird. so you guys that was the finished look i really really hope that you love this unit I, I think you guys are gonna be seeing me wearing this a lot because like i said at the beginning it's just plain it's simple i feel like you can't go wrong with a unit like this so i'm gonna go see my boyfriend get as much attention as possible now that i'm feeling all fresh with the new install so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you're smashing a like so that i know that you enjoyed the video head over to my social media channel follow me over there that's on instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok before i love you and leave you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you just gotta hit that subscribe button and if, and if you're feeling extra nice then get your notifications on as well so that you never miss out on any of my new uploads as always angels thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video